Ladies and gentlemen, it is a pleasure for me to share uh, with you a few thoughts on the occasion of the celebration of the International Day for Bi Bi Biodiversity. Many cities like yours are using this day to spread the word about one of the most critical contemporary challenges, the campaign for protecting life on Earth. Biodiversity, as we all know, is the foundation of our food, our medicine, our clean air and water. Unfortunately, citizens and urban residents in particular are often not aware of the importance of biodiversity for their basic well-being. This special day reminds us that without biodiversity we cannot live well, or not for very long. Currently, human activities are causing an extension wave, with species disappearing at 50 to 100 times the natural rate of extension. These extensions are irreversible, and given cities' dependence on biodiversity resources pose a threat to the well-being of the majority of the world population. As of 2007, most people have come to live in cities, and more and more will do so in the future. The inhabitant patterns of consumption affect the entire planet. Cities are become a critical part of the problem, and are therefore also a critical part of the solution. Parties to the Convention on Biological Diversity, when they gathered in Bonn in May 2008, have recognized this reality by adopting for the first time a decision engaging the cities and the local authorities in the implementation of the three objectives of the commerce, the conservation, the sustainable use, and the fair and equitable sharing of benefit. The decision highlights the role of cities and local authorities in national biodiversity strategies and plans, and invites national government to support local authorities in applying the tools and guidelines developed by the Convention. Uh, the result will be submitted to the Nagoya Biodiversity Summit, where the cities and local authorities will gather to adopt a multi-year plan for implementation of the objective of the Convention. One way to support the biodiversity agenda and the CBD is the celebration every year on 22nd of May of the International Year on International Day on Biodiversity. This year team is invasive alien species, organisms taken from their natural habitat that invade other ecosystems and outcompete local species causing losses and damages. They have contributed to nearly 40% of all animal extinction for which the cause is known. They also exasperate poverty and threaten sustainable development through their impact on agriculture, on forestry, on fishes, on human health and wild biodiversity on which people in developing countries in particular depend. Once this species spread, it is quite difficult and costly to control or eradicate them. Cities can help reduce their spread by designating, desi designing a local landscape to accommodate native species, urban residents can select native ornamental plants, control the spread of exotic plants, not allow exotic pets to escape, and follow biosafety norms when traveling. This, this day is an opportunity to use to learn what, what invasive alien species look like, learn how we can help to control them. Several leading cities around the world are members of our global partnership on cities and biodiversity. Let me take this opportunity to pay tribute to them for their valuable contribution to this year's celebration, and in particular their valuable contribution to the Green Wave Initiative, which aim at engaging the citizens of tomorrow, the children of today, in the, in the fight for protecting life on Earth. The Curitiba city government and its partner are inviting children and youth, civil servants, landowners and experts to celebrate during an all-day event. They will participate in seminars on invasive species and contribute to promoting the Green Wave, as they did uh, earlier this year, when 175 municipal schools and 600, uh, 630 students were involved planting over 300 native trees with ceremonies in nine different places, uh, places uh, over time to characterize a wave. In Bonn, the International Day on Biodiversity will be taking place during the Bonn Museum Mile Festival. Among other activities, the Museum Koning will have special event focusing on Charles Darwin and the development of species. The host their nature and the path for of, of biodiversity are also invited the public to attend the special events and learn more about biodiversity. Aichi Prefecture will hold a tree planting ceremony at the Expo 2005, Aichi Commemorative Park. Local schools within the prefecture will plant trees in the spirit of the Green Wave. In parallel, Nagoya will invite cities to take part in biodiversity-related activities 
and, uh, and experience the wonder of nature and the zoo of botanical garden. Curitiba, the host of COP8, Bonn, the host of COP9, and Nagoya, the host of COP10, are taking leadership. Montreal, the host of the Secretariat, is inviting the general public to the Museum of Natural Institution, where the city first educational uh, activities on invasive alien species will be taking place in park around the city. Expert and horticulturists will be raising awareness about invasive plants to avoid using uh, using uh, close to uh, to municipal park. In Singapore, a public talk will be given on invasive alien species. Seventy schools will be participating in the green wave and trees will be uh, a nature photography exp exp expedition held at Sungay below Natural Reserve. Singapore has developed a Singapore Biodiversity Urban Biodiversity Index, which will be submitted to Nagoya Summit. Algeria has contributed to Green Wave by planting 345,000 trees by 335,000 citizens from 3,865 uh, 3, schools. The Green Wave website is now translated in Japanese. And Aishi Prefecture, together with Shikawa Prefecture, will take leadership uh, uh, in the Green Wave initiative. Airbus, in partnership with the National Geographic Society, will be leading a fantastic pro program in support to the Green Wave. Many other parties will take part to this international global biodiversity educational program for youth and children aimed at creating a global chain of solidarity between the cities and between the children of today and the, children of, uh, the citizens of tomorrow. I also want to applaud the contribution of our partner a network of cities, IUCN Countdown 2010, which has invited all 300 uh, local government members uh, of Countdown 2010, as well as local government for sustainability, local action for biodiversity initiative, which has sent a call for their 21 member cities inviting to contribute and to report uh, on the uh, International Day an international day on biodiversity celebration. These leading cities and partners are among others have proven that local authorities contribute greatly toward the 2010 target and the objective of the Convention uh, on Biodiversity. Next year's celebration will be even larger since the United Nations General Assembly has declared 2010 as an international year on biodiversity which will coincide with the Heads of State Summit in New York as well as the Nagoya Biodiversity Summit in October 2010. You are all invited to participate and to take, uh, uh, to take an active part to this historical celebration which will also coincide at the initiative of the city of Nagoya with Nagoya City Summit on biodiversity. The campaign for life on earth will be won or lost at the local level. We need urban residents to get involved and make a difference I wish you a most successful celebration on this International Day for Biodiversity and invite you to take an active part in the celebration of the 2010 International Year on Biodiversity and be with us and join us at the Nagoya Biodiversity City Summit. I thank you very much.